at such an ungodly hour. Don't you have any idea what time it is? Oh, cease your infernal knocking upon my door. I'm coming. Can't you hear me? Now, what on earth do you... Oh. Oh, goodness, darling, it's you. My apologies. Uh, where is your coat? Goodness, it's freezing outside and you're dressed in only your night clothes. Come in before you catch your death of cold. I don't care if you plan to stay or not. Come in right now. I insist. Uh, darling, your face is red and... Are those tear stains? Darling, before anything else, I'm going to ask you a question and I want you to answer with complete honesty. Who hurt you, and how must I hurt them? It's not like that? Very well, then. Yes, of course you may sit. Can I get you something warm to eat or drink? Perhaps a warmer change of clothes? It's no trouble at all, darling. You know I'm always happy to have you here. What do you need? You need a place to stay. Well, of course you're more than welcome to stay here, but... Why aren't you able to stay at home, darling? Your parents kicked you out because they're mad at you? Whatever for? You're damn right it's stupid. There is no good reason for throwing your child out into the cold. Well, unless you're perfect people and they plan to murder you and you've done nothing but good for the world... Then I can understand it, but you're nothing like that. I can't think of any good reason that they might have to kick you out. What's going on? Why are they doing this? Do you know? You don't know if you want to tell me. Darling... You can tell me anything. That's always been true and it always will be true. I'll support you no matter what. Of course, if you don't feel up for talking about it right now, that's perfectly fine. I just want to understand what's going on so I can comfort you and support you properly. But of course, if you don't want to say anything else about the matter, I won't push. But I'm here for you, whenever you need me, all right? You told them something. What did you tell them? You don't need to be nervous, darling. No matter what, I'm not going to be mad at you or afraid of you. I'm a grim reaper and a serial killer, after all. I would never judge you for anything. <gasps> Darling! You came out to them? Oh, goodness, as what? Well, did you tell them about your sexuality or your gender identity? What is it that you came out to them about? Goodness. You're trans? Oh, I'm so proud of you for realizing it. And 
I'm so proud of you for having the courage to come out and embrace who you are. Wait a moment. Then... Is that what they kicked you out over? Because you're trans? Darling. How do you spell their names? No reason, no reason. Yes, I am holding your hand rather tightly, aren't I? It's all I can do to keep from screaming with rage at this moment. My apologies, I'll find something else to hold on to. Ugh! Those idiots! I want to put them on my to-die list! No, no, I shouldn't do that. Are you certain, darling? Not even just for a day and see how you feel about it? Oh, fine. But just know that I think they deserve it. All right, all right. I've... I've gained my composure. Oh, all right. Well, that is utterly ridiculous of them, and I hope you know that I do not condone their behaviour in the slightest. Oh, darling, darling, no, no, don't cry. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. They're blithering idiots, you know that? So what if your gender is different from your biological sex? Why should that matter to them? All it means is that they have to use different pronouns when addressing you, and they have to accept that those pronouns reflect who you are. What is so difficult about that? What is so hard to understand and accept about that. I don't know either. Well, I hope you know that I accept you fully. Now, if I may ask, what are the pronouns you'll be using from now on? Delightful. Is it all right if I still call you darling? I use that for everyone, but if you feel that it's too gendered, I can always find a different nickname for you. It's still all right? Oh, good. Now, do you feel the need to get surgery of any kind? Unfortunately, the only doctor I knew very well... She passed away some time ago, but I'm sure I could find someone who could help you if you need surgery to feel like the you on the inside. Not yet? All right, all right. If you ever feel the need for it, just let me know. Oh, it's no trouble at all, darling. I'm happy to help you in any way I can. Oh, speaking of which, do you have any clothes to wear for the gender you identify as now? You don't? Well, darling, I believe I know what you and I are doing tomorrow. Yes, it'll be a good, positive experience to help you relax and truly embrace who you are. And I'm sure it won't get rid of the negativity entirely. That's something that's very difficult to overcome. But it should help you feel at least a little better. we can, darling. You know, 
We'll make an entire day out of it, just the two of us. How does that sound? Oh, I knew you would say that. Now, you've had quite a bit of pain and excitement tonight, haven't you? Do you think it's time for bed? All right. Come on, you know where the guest room is. Huh? Oh, yes, of course, you can borrow one of my shirts to sleep in. That's perfectly fine. Oh, I completely understand, darling. I realize your clothes are probably still chilled from being outside for so long. I apologize for not waking sooner, by the way. <laughs> All right, well, I'll... Uh Wait a moment. One last question, if you wouldn't mind. Have you picked a new name for yourself, if you're going to change your name? No? Do you plan to change your name at all? You do? Oh, darling! something else I can help you with. I can help you find a unique name that no one else has ever had. Of course I can. I have the records of every name that has ever existed. I can help you find one that suits your personality and is completely unique because, darling, do you know what I think of you? You were born to stand apart from the rest of the crowd. You were born to be unique. And I want you to feel perfectly comfortable in your skin because, darling, you're a wonderful person. And you shouldn't be hindered by dysphoria or insecurity or utter stupidity and ignorance. So, I'm going to help you in any way that I can, any way that you need. And you can stay here as long as you want, darling. You are always welcome here. I mean it, darling. You're my closest friend. You've always been there for me, and I'll always be here for you. All right? Now, go get some rest. We have an exciting day ahead of us tomorrow, don't we? <laughs> Good night, darling. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs>